A site that the families of Mr. and Mrs. Mahmoud Alabidu and Mr. and Mrs. David Olawale will never forget, as they celebrated the Walimat Nikai of their children, Sarat Timitayo and Abduwarit Mobolaji. <laughs> The couple arrived the venue in an elegant traditional Yoruba attire where the solemnization took place at the popular Lagos State Secretariat Central Mosque Alausa Ikeja. The first assignment of the day was the ceremony of the Walimatul Quran in which the bride had to recite the opening chapter and the first five verses of the Holy Quran as a graduate under the supervision of the presiding Imam. The Nikai proper was officiated by amiable chief missioner of Nasfat Worldwide, Shakir Abdulaziz Unike, who in his brief sermon advised the couple to follow the teachings of the Holy Quran and also prayed for them accordingly. <laughs> After all the necessary conditions of marriage had been fulfilled, the couple signed a marriage certificate which was presented to them by the Imam Najim Jimo, Lighthouse Estates, Lekki, Lagos. In the name of Allah, and Bless you as individuals, to bless your respective 
Nekai train then moved to a well-decorated event all at the Radio Lagos Agidingbe Ikeja compound where guests were treated to a beautiful reception. Um, today we are gathered to celebrate this couple, this wonderful until I met the father while sitting down and the father introduced himself. So these children are children of the law, both on the right and on the left. So. I cannot but congratulate the parents of the bride and parents of the group for a job well done and for making sure that both of them, um, is it, uh, was this a mistake or incident or coincidence that they met? Having said that, I just want to congratulate you once again, congratulate your parents and congratulate the whole lot of us that are here in Kwai Yoba is our Mama Shield. And to the groom, congratulations, and gentlemen. You went to uh, for an occasion and you took a life partner. Ah, ever me partner walking. It's not um, on every occasion that you go out that you meet your life partner. So this is an exceptional group and I think God answered your prayer just like you have asked for it. So keep on praying and know that for that you can be sure of success at all times. And as the couple were called to dance into the hall, their friends and well-wishers were entertained by a popular artist. Some of us are wise, you say. couple to love each other unconditionally not usually easy they must be forgiving of each other they must show high degree of tolerance and have understanding of each other's differences but more importantly they must fear Allah in their dealings with each other the fear of Allah as they said is the beginning and actually the end of wisdom once you fear Allah you be just to your wife and you also be just to your husband i please would like the woman who i can say is a woman of substance to when she gets to the home show a level of humility and respect to her husband notwithstanding whatever she has been able to successfully do in life One of the high points of the event was the cutting of a gigantic wedding cake. The event was graced by eminent Islamic clerics, important personalities and members of the fourth estate of the realm. A big congratulations to the couple, to their family and all who attended this beautiful ceremony. I'm, I'm very grateful to God because uh, I really thank God for everything. The advice I know the type of uh, 
son I have and I know he's very, very, very simple somebody. But he likes someone that is plain to him. Because he doesn't like people, I mean, twisting it into all, trying to try this intelligence. He doesn't like it. He's very calm and cool. And uh, I pray both of them will enjoy themselves by the grace of Insha Allah. So I always, the issue, both of them should be, be patient with each other. So that that's the only way both of them can enjoy their marriage. Today is my happy day, and this, and this is my first son. I'm very happy. They should, they should, they should love, they should like themselves. And I pray for them that this marriage will be last all, all their life. They will be happy in peace. Alhamdulillah, I feel so elated. I feel so happy. I feel on top of the world. Um, it's one of the things we pray for. It's one of the major achievements um, in this life that um, you raise a child from the uh, cradle, and then you raise her up to the level that. Um, She's um, getting married. Alhamdulillah, she didn't disappoint us. She didn't come back uh, to come and tell us that she has, she's carrying the baby of a friend or that she doesn't know who the father is. Alhamdulillah, one is happy for a day like this. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, uh, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. My advice for this couple is that um, they have to be patient with themselves because that is the major thing. Um, there, there is no doubt that um, what sustains any relationship is um, patience. There is, um, uh, there is no couple that won't have challenges. And uh, just like um, the um, mouth and the, the tongue and the teeth, uh, they stay together and they quarrel, but of course they have to exist together. So I advise them that um, they have to be uh, patient with each other and uh, show tolerance for each other. Um, they will hurt themselves, there is no way. They will hurt themselves either at one time or the other. So they just have to show that, um, that patience among each other. Sincerely speaking, I don't know how to express my appreciation to everyone who is present here. I'm highly honored um, because I, uh, I never expected that I would be so honored with people's presence. And then people even supported me. They supported me with money. They supported me with um, material support. In particular, I will mention um, Adi Inkalu Mide Fusika, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, who is my colleague in the office, who has been very supportive. I will also recognize um, uh, Barista Rahim Dele Alesh Loye, who has also been very, very supportive. All my committee of friends, my colleagues in the office, City Point Shimbas, I will appreciate them. I appreciate Shibaji Bola who took time to be here. I will appreciate Justice Abdullahi. I will appreciate Auntie Yoni Sola Makonji Ola who happen to be the proprietors of the school where the bride pies out from. Um, I, I'm going to appreciate her in particular because she identified the, uh, the, peculiar, um, the peculiar gift that Sarah had because right from primary two, she gave us scholarship. It's not as if uh, she thought that I, I don't have the money, but it's because she appreciated the fact that this is a talent that needs to be nurtured. So, and then, for the fact that she had to even terminate her holiday and then had to travel from London back to this place just to witness this. My, friend in, my friends in the US, my friends in the UK, all of them, I really appreciate them. And this is my committee of friends who are even right here who want to form a guard of honor for me. Larry Gidado, Adindu, um, uh, Daddy Rafi, uh, told me all of them. Uh, I am Tess, Tess, um, Adewui, um, Mr. Adepoju, all of them, Lake Abdo, I appreciate every one of them. I can't, I can't just say, I can't, uh, I don't know, everybody, in fact, the names I cannot remember, uh, please, they should, for, they should forgive me. Well, today is one of my joyous days. I'm so happy, alhamdulillah, I give all glory and adoration to Almighty Allah. Alhamdulillah, I will advise them to, to just be good to each other and take care of themselves and not allow third party to be to come in between them. And I wish them a happy and joyous marriage life. I wish them a happy marriage life. By this time, next nine months, I'll come to take care of their children and their babies. I wish them well. I wish them the best in all their endeavors. 
I feel very happy today to finally be able to be getting married to Sarah, who I've known for quite a while. Um, what quality I like the most about her? Uh, I think I find it hard to, see, to pick one particular one. I think everything is everything from her. Um, she's she's uh, well behaved and she looks. I like I like her looks. She's beautiful and everything really basically. I feel very happy and excited and hopeful for the future with um, Abdul Waris and um, I, there's so many things I like about him. I, I am attracted to his calmness, his focus, his looks as well, yeah, and so many other things that I definitely cannot remember, but yeah, I, I'm very, very attracted. I pray that Allah continues to uplift him. Allah, he's almost perfect but that Allah continues to perfect him for me and um, makes him an amazing husband and father to our children inshallah. My prayer for us is that God strengthens our union and, and make us stay together whatever, regardless of whatever circumstances.